I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your Dumbbell Total Body Sculpt Workout. So in this workout, we will work your entire body for both strength and cardio using one set of dumbbells. As always, I will give you lots of options, so listen to your body and work to your fitness level. All you need for this workout is a set of dumbbells and a mat. I will be working with my eight and 10 pound dumbbells today. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start, just make sure neutral alignment, check in with your breath, shake everything out. And let's start just marching, roll through those shoulders to the back and to the front. Couple times just like that. Remember with this warm up, we're just waking up, getting the blood flowing, getting our muscles moving, working through those motions that we're gonna do in the workout today. Big deep breath in and out, keep it going. And one more, let's take it out nice and wide and just lean into those hips, little opening into a side lunge, rotating through the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, all through the arms. And breathe. And walk those feet in, flat back down, and round it out. Couple times just like that, rolling through your spine. And breathe. One more. Hold it here, gently press out as you roll your shoulder forward. Just like that. And walk them in, round it up, tap and reach across. So hopefully you're already getting warm, feeling that heart rate get up, reaching over the head, really stretch it out, think lengthening long through your fingertips and breathe. And let's bring those hamstrings up to the back. And to the front. And let's do a little squat and just roll through that hip. Good. One more each way. And then little kicks to the front, stretch it out. You don't have to actually touch. Just think stretching through the hamstrings. Breathe. There we go. And relax. Okay. So, a lot of compound movements today, guys. You can do this, you know them. We're gonna put some things together and then put some things together. So, you always have options. I will always give them to you. We are going to start with a side lunge. So, go ahead and grab your dumbbells. I'm gonna go with my eights here and breathe. No, I think I'll go heavier because we're going to do a row with it. So if you got a heavy set, grab your heavy set. We are going to step into that side lunge and we're going to go ahead and put a row with it. So we'll start with the side lunge, then we'll add about halfway through so you can get a feel for that rhythm. I'm stepping to my right, your left. Here we go. So start with the side lunge, lean into it, step it back. Side lunge, step it back. Drive those hips to the back. Remember, straight leg, bent leg. Keep it here if you want, or if you can, let's add a row at the bottom. So we're gonna sit in that side lunge, row, let it drop, and here. Sit in the side lunge, row, drop, and here. So flat back, hips go back, elbows come up. Eyes up, but not pulling that neck. Core's engaged. You're really gonna hang out in that side lunge to finish that row. So don't rush it, think it as two separate movements, right? Side lunge, row, and up. We're gonna get four more on this side. Here we go. Four, and breathe. Really try to get deep, drive those hips back. Two more. Hopefully that heart rate's getting up. Last one. 
and relax. So shake that out. We're gonna stay on this side, but I'm gonna turn my body. So from here, we're gonna step back into a reverse lunge, then halfway through, we're gonna add a bicep curl. If you wanna keep that lunge stationary, you can. If you can move through it, great. You do what's best for you. We'll start with the lunge. We'll add the curl halfway through. Here we go. So lunge it down, step it up. Core's engaged, nice good posture, pushing through the front heel, 90 degrees both legs. And then let's add a bicep curl. So it looks like this. Lunge, curl, finish your curl. So exactly like we did with that side lunge, where you're actually gonna hang out in that lunge at the bottom, I know it's hard. That's where our sculpting comes in, right? So we're all the way down, hold it here, curl, finish your curl, step it out, keep it going. Down, curl, and up. Good posture. If at any point this feels like too much, just pick one, just do the lunge or just do the curl. There we go, yes. How about four more? I think we got it. Keep it going. Four. And breathe. Three. Yes. Two. Last one. Yes, shake it out. All right, guys, we're gonna stay on that side. Here's where the real sculpting comes in. We are gonna put those together. We're turning into it switching from one to the other. So instead of stepping into those lunges, we're just gonna lean into them and we're gonna turn one to the other. Watch me first. You keep tapping it out, keep your feet moving. Here we go. So I'm gonna lean into my side lunge, do my row, turn into my regular lunge, do my curl, turn back side lunge, row. So watch me, I'm picking up my feet. If you've got a floor that you can pivot, that works. But if you need to, really pick up the feet so we don't torque that knee. Are you ready? If it feels like too much, you just pick one and go with it. I'll tell you at the halfway point and we can switch it. Here we go. So side lunge, row, turn into it. Regular lunge, curl. Turn back center. Side lunge, row, turn into it. Regular, curl. We're going nice and slow, no need to rush. Row, turn in, right, back center, and turn, pick up those feet, lunge, halfway point, here we go, four more, four, and turn, good, back center, three, how's that burn feeling, turn it, two more each way, Take your time all the way through every motion. Lunge, curl, curl, and up. Last one. And turn. Yes. And relax. Put those dumbbells down. Oh, shake out that leg. Shake out those arms. How was it, guys? That's kind of what we're looking at. Compound move into a compound move. And some of these workouts you've maybe done before. We call them double compounds. You always have options to stick with one. As long as you're moving your body, that's all that matters. Grab a sip of water. Before we get that on the other side, even though your heart rate should be up, let's get a quick little cardio interval. Whew. All right, team, so step, 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 knee. Step, step, step. So you can just do double step, low impact, or think of it like that Heisman, one, two, three, knee. Really drive the knee in for core. We're gonna go about 30 seconds. That's all we need. Ready, here we go. Step, 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 knee. Or shuffle. Yes. Quick feet either way. And really drive the knee up. Wherever you are, 10 seconds, keeping it quick, giving our hands and arms and legs a break from that dumbbell. Last one. And breathe, good. 
All right, just so we got a little break from that burn. Now you know what we're doing. Side lunge row, regular lunge curl, and then we put them together. This time we're gonna take it with a wide row and a hammer curl. So it'll look a little different. Bend your knees, grab those dumbbells. Whew. I know my body is hurting just thinking about it because now we know what we're doing, right? Roll those shoulders back, stepping to my left. Your right will start with that side lunge. We'll add the right wide row halfway through. Here we go. So side lunge, sit deep, push out. Remember, slow and controlled. We don't want to rush this. We want good form. We just got that heart pumping with cardio, and we know once we add the compound move, our heart rate's gonna get back up, right? Here we go, so let's do it. Side lunge, wide row, and up. Side lunge, wide, squeezing the shoulder blades, and up. Still getting low, elbows are still coming up, squeezing in the shoulder blades, but we're taking our arms a little bit wider, right? Same set of muscles, different angle. Side lunge. And breathe. Good. Yes. Squeeze, finish it all the way through. Four more. So hang out in that side lunge. Do the row. Press up. Good. Last two. Up. One more. And relax, good. Catch your breath, turn your body. So remember, we're gonna reverse lunge into it or stationary, if that feels better for you. Halfway through, we'll add a hammer curl. So palms are facing in, core's in tight. Ready, start with the lunge. Drop it down, push it up. 90 degrees both ways, nice and wide. Push out of that front heel. And then as we're ready, we're gonna hang out at the bottom at our hammer curl. Down, curl, and up. Down, curl, and up. Yes, core's in tight. Down, ooh, balance, right? So again, if you need to keep it stationary without stepping back into it, looks like this, that's okay too. Down, curl, and up or step through it, but you're still hanging out at the bottom for that curl. Four more, here we go. Four. And breathe. Three. This is where I'm thinking, huh, maybe I should have gone with those eights. Challenge yourself. Heavier weights burn more calories. Ha, breathe, you did it. All right, team, let's put them together. You know what we're doing. Side lunge, watch me first, wide row, turn your whole body, regular lunge, hammer curl, pick up your feet. So again, if you can pivot, do it, but I'm gonna be picking up my feet because of my floor, okay? Stationary, we're not stepping into it. We're starting in that side lunge. Let's finish it out strong, then we get a breather with some core. Here we go. Side lunge, wide row, Pick up your feet, turn, regular, curl. Pick up the feet, turn, lean into it. Side lunge, wide row, pick up your feet, lunge, curl. Remember, you can just do one. I'm gonna tell you at that halfway point, if you wanna switch halfway through and turn, get low. As those muscles get more tired, I know we're gonna wanna cheat that range of motion. Make sure you're going all the way through. This is halfway. We got four more each side. Here we go. Four. Turn into it. Pick up the feet. Get low. And three. And turn. Last two. Two. And turn. Last one, finish strong. And turn. Yes. Oh man, who is feeling their legs and arms? Me and that heart rate, right? A lot of things working there. Whew. 
catch your breath, grab a quick sip, tap those feet out, and we're gonna take it down for some core, a little core break in between. If you want, you can keep it moving. Three, two, one. Just like we did, if you wanna keep that cardio moving while I talk you through our next core. Otherwise, go ahead and bring it down with me. Just watch me first. Turn from the side all the way down on your back, right? All right, team. So if you need to modify, and I especially want you to do this if you're pregnant, second or third trimester, newly postpartum, or you know you have separation, watch me. I'm gonna go knee lift, knee lift, straight leg, straight leg. So that's putting them together. We're gonna go ahead and put them together from the start. So watch me here, bring it up. We're gonna go elbow to knee, bicycle, elbow to knee, then straight legs, reach and reach. Elbow to knee, elbow to knee. Join me when you're ready. So again, modification, knee tap, knee tap, straight leg reach. You're keeping your upper body down the whole time. You join whichever way is best for you. You're still engaged in that core. Lift, lift, or here. Bicycle, bicycle, big reach, big reach. So scissors, leg lower, bicycle. Try to touch on the inside of that elbow. Keep it going, very controlled. We're not going any faster than this because we want to keep that core engaged. So I want you to really think knitting everything together, check in with that core, make sure you're not pushing out, that everything's pulling in nice and deep and that you're breathing through. Keep it going, I know. We're gonna be back on our feet in just a minute, don't worry. Breathe, breathe, two more. Cross, cross, big reach, big reach. Last one reach and reach, relax. So wherever you are, hug those knees in, roll side to side, and then roll to your side. Go ahead and bring it up. All right, team. So again, you can tap it out. You can go back to that cardio if you want. I'm gonna talk you through our next two moves. So two dumbbells are one. I'm gonna show you with two first. I got my lighter ones. We're gonna do a nice deep goblet squat. We got those dumbbells racked here, and then halfway through, we're gonna add a press to the top. So that press is here out in front of our body. We're not arching, starting with that. Then we're gonna take it toes out. We're gonna do that plie swing. So watch me here. Plie swing at the top, triceps behind the head. Plie swing, triceps behind the head. So all that means is that we're starting in the plie, but then we're driving those hips back like a kettlebell swing, drive it up. So if you've got that kettlebell, you're gonna wanna hold it by the horns instead of like a traditional swing. All right, then we're gonna put those two together. Two dumbbells are one. If you've got something heavier, you wanna go one, that works too. If you can, take it with the two, holding it here, drop it low, just your squat. We'll add the press in a minute, here we go. Drop it down, drive it up. Drop those hips. So remember on that goblet, we wanna get as low as we can, bring it up. If you can, add that press. Drop low and press. Low and press. If you got one dumbbell, you're just here in the center. Take it low, power it up, keep it going. Elbows in, weight in the heels. So lots of legs and glutes, and then really get that power as you come up. Lots of chest and shoulders and arms. Keep breathing. Four more, here we go. Four, and breathe. Three, two, last one, and relax. Good, catch your breath. We're going to that swing. Watch me first. If you got one dumbbell, hold it here. Drive those hips back. And then we're gonna add the triceps at the top. Triceps, elbows are in. If you got two dumbbells, exact same thing. 
Let's start with just a plie. So toes out, zip up that core, neutral alignment, here we go. So start with the plie, down and up. Get a feel for that motion. Remember when we add the swing, we're gonna drive those hips back a bit and lock it at the top. If you want, watch me here. Take it back, up, triceps. Back, up, triceps. So core is engaged. If that feels too weird, you just do the plie or the triceps. If you can, I want you to get that power behind your head. Elbows in, we wanna avoid them being out here, right? Down, up, down, up. Yes, if you got one dumbbell, same thing, but we're here. Good, zip up that core. Yes, watching your posture at the top. Can we get four more? Here we go. Four, breathe, three, good, two, last one. Oh my goodness, yes, there we go. Breathe, tap it out. All right, team, Whew. give your hands a little break, drop them down, shake those out. While you're doing that, you keep moving, watch me to put them together. So we got one dumbbell or two, toes are here. We got our deep squat and our press. Turn our toes out of the top, swing and tricep. Turn our toes back in. So it looks like this with one, here we go. Deep press, toes out, swing, tricep, toes in, or two. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells, one or two. I'll talk you through it as we go. Regular squat, here we go. Down low, press up, toes out, swing high, up, triceps. So what's tricky about this is that we're switching those feet at the top, right? So you really have to keep that core engaged. You keep going. We did that on purpose, right? So as we're here, we have to stabilize here. If they're down low, we still have to work. But if we're switching the feet at the top, lots more stabilization, lots more core. Keep it going. Again, if you have one dumbbell, you're here. Down, press, toes out, through, up, tricep, toes in. Down, press, toes out, swing, tricep, or two. Keep it going, core's in tight. Ready, here we go. Down, up, toes out, swing, tricep, toes in. Takes a little bit of thinking at the top, right? Turn them in, keep it going. I know this feels long. Let's get last one. Toes out. Finish strong with your tries, yes. Oh, stretch them out, I know. A lot for your brain on that one too, right? Let's get a little cardio. All right, team. I know those legs are feeling it. Let's get a little staggered one-legged deadlift for our cardio. So we're gonna do both sides, watch me here. You can just go here and reach, or here and up, or keep it off the ground the whole time with or without that jump. It's up to you. If you have a chair or a couch, you wanna use that for balance, go for it, 30 seconds, here we go. So here and reach, join me, or here, little jump, or here, reach or here, little jump, take it, keep it going. We really wanna get the back of the leg, the jump is nice and light, a little power at the top, but we're getting those hamstrings, right? 10 seconds, wherever you are, with or without that jump, and breathe, Ooh. balance, three, two, one, stretch it out, yes. So a little double duty with that cardio where we get a little isolation in our hamstrings, right? Turn it other side. Remember your options. You can just be here, reach, or here. 
Join me, here we go. Low impact. Or all the way up with that foot down or that foot up. Keep it going. Really bend, soft bend in that front knee. You got 15 seconds. Power and breathe. Yes, good. Keep it going. Three, two, one, and stretch. Good work, team. Ha, ah, breathe. All right, quick sip of water. Whew. Right? Okay. So, bring it down. We're getting close, don't you worry. All right, with those dumbbells in the front. All right, one heavy dumbbell right in the center. Modification, I want you just to take it on those knees, quadruped position, zip up in that core. You're going to do, I know we did rows, but let's get the back one last time. One row, one row, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Again, we're just putting them together. So you're here on the knees, or here on the knees, same thing, or all the way up. Go ahead, zip up in that core. Join me here, here we go. I'll start with the modification, you be where you are. Take it, oh, no, not right. Here we go. Row and row, core's engaged, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Or here, wherever you are. Row, row, down, down, up, up, or all the way up. One row, each side, core's engaged, keep those hips square. Down, down, up, up, keep it going. Wherever you are, you know what I say, be where you are today. You don't have to be doing the same thing as me or anybody else. All I want is for you to show up and move your body, you keep going. If you showed up today, you are successful. So let's finish this out strong because we are in the home stretch, wherever you are. Row and row, plank press, down, down, up, up. Keep it going. Row and row, down, down, up, up. Hips are square, one more. Core's engaged. Yes, and relax, stretch that back. Whew. All right, team, roll over onto your side with that dumbbell, heavy if you got it. We're gonna come into a side plank. You have a few options. You can lift up on the knees, you can lift up on the toes, stacked or cross. Let's start with that. So zip up in that core, make sure you have that good engagement. Everything is pulling up and in, lift up and hold. We're just holding here. We're gonna go about 20 seconds. So everything is pulled in, we're breathing. If you can be all the way up, go for it. Otherwise, if you need to drop that knee, it gives you a little extra support for that shoulder. Up to you for three, two, and one. Good, excellent. Grab that dumbbell in the front. So start low, we're coming up, up, down, and down. If that feels too heavy, you just do the motion or you just do the first part, ready? Lift it up into that side plank, then join me here. Up, up, down, and down. Or up, hold, and down. We're not twisting, up, we're pressing, right? Four more, I know it's a lot, so if that feels like too much, you just drop it here. That works too. Or here, up, up, down. Oh, I know. Ooh. I got asked a few times this week about the feeling in your shoulder and that side plank. The thing to look out for is making sure that you're not at an angle, that you're directly beneath. Let's swing that to the other side. Let's take it here, starting with just our hold, then we'll add on, hips are stacked, you can be on that knee, or all the way up. Join me, only 20 seconds. We're just gonna focus on getting that core engagement. So zipping up, 
everything's pulling in and up. Check in with yourself, make sure you're not seeing anything pushing out, making sure you're breathing as well. And again, that elbow is beneath the shoulder. Breathe four, three, two, and relax. So remember here, you can just do the motion, you can just do the row, or you can go all the way up, knees or toes, ready. Here we go. So just the motion on that knee or on the toes, or just here, or all the way up, 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 and breathe. Can we get two more? Last one. Good. And relax, bring it down. Stretch that over. How are we doing, team? I hope you're feeling good. We are getting close. Okay, so we're gonna grab our heavy dumbbells. Roll onto your back. So, down on your side and then roll it here. We're not gonna stay here very long, so if you're one of my second or third trimester mamas, you do what feels best for you. You can prop yourself up on some pillows underneath your head and shoulders, but we won't be here very long, so you should be okay. Okay, so let's take it just our very classic chest press and bridge. Here we go. Up. Just pressing up and in, lifting in those glutes and hamstrings. Feels like too much? Drop the dumbbells. You can just do the motion or just do the press or just do the bridge. I know those legs are tired, but keep it going. Four, eight, lift up high. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax it down, stretch one hamstring up and then the other, Woo, right? And breathe, yes, good, and relax. So grab those dumbbells again, feet up in tabletop. If you are not pregnant or early postpartum or DR, otherwise keep them down. And we're gonna go triceps right here, just here. So you can stay here, bend, I know we got a lot of tries with that swing, but we're gonna finish it out strong here. Or little tap and breathe. Again, if you are pregnant, early postpartum DR, let's keep those feet down. Here we go, four more. Four, three, two, last one. Good, relax. Stretch that out, hug those knees in. All right guys, can we put them together? We are so close. So chest press, bring it up, tap, bring it down. So you got a little extra bonus move, a half of a move on each to get back into it, but you can do it. Here we go. Press all the way down, bring them up, tries all the way down, bring them down. Press. If you are one of, if you need to modify, you just go from the bridge to the tries and keep that bridge the whole time. Up, everybody else, let's try to add. Woo, bridge. <laughs> you keep doing it, I know you know what you're doing. Up and down, bring it up. Good, four more, four, keep it going. Keep that core engaged, pull everything in. These are getting heavy for me. Three, and tries. Last two. One more. Yes, relax. Stretch that out over your head. Oh, roll to your side. Nice work, team. Dumbbells out of the way. Ha, let's finish it out strong. Coming into that front plank position. All right, if you need to modify, again, especially pre-post, DR, bird dog. I know it feels a little boring, but zip up in that core. Use the balance to work your core. You just stay here, right? 
Woo. Everybody else, take it down to those elbows. Two parts, pike, dip, dip. Lift up in that pike, dip. Join me here, pike it up, dip, dip. Lift, dip, dip. Again, if you're modifying, really focus on the inside of that core, zipping up and breathe. You're still gonna be engaging and getting balance and a little bonus back. Keep it going, here we go. Pike, dip, dip. Two more, lift it up. Last one. And relax, stretch it back. Ha ha, oh man, we have just a few more seconds. Tap it out to modify. Everybody else, bonus move. Let's do that mountain climber, but take it across, across. Join me when you're ready. Let's finish it out. Quick little bonus move. Jog it in. You can tap to modify, but if you can, let's finish with a little bit of cardio, a little bit of core, lots of upper, a little bit of lower. Here we go. Across. Low impact or high. Finish it out for four, three, two, and breathe. Ah, you did it. Ah, catch your breath. Ah, grab a quick sip of water. Ah, how do we feel, team? I hope you feel good. Hope you feel tired. Hope you feel sculpted. I know I did. Man. Pretty proud of myself for using my heavies most of the workout. Whatever you used, even if it was no weight at all, you still worked hard. We sculpted those muscles. Let's reach it over. And also got some fat burning, heart pumping cardio, right? Make sure that you check out all of my other full body dumbbell workouts, total body dumbbell as well as all of my other equipment. You can look in the playlist on my homepage, on my YouTube page. You will find all the playlists of all the different types of equipment that I have, kettlebells, suspension training, bands, balls, prenatal, postnatal. Take that arm across and just roll through gently. As well as workouts broken down by type cardio, upper body, lower body, full body. So make sure you check those out so you can figure out other videos to do. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribing helps me out. Subscribe, make sure you turn on those notifications and take one foot out and just gently fold it over. It doesn't matter if you're here or here, just breathe into it a couple deep breaths. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you will always know when I am releasing a new video for you and also when I'm doing these live workouts. Let's take it here, fold it over, breathe. Good, good. Just seated, take your feet out in front, cross one leg over, bring it in. And of course, if you are looking for a little more structure to go along with these videos, Make sure you check out the links in the description below. You will find information on my eBooks and programs. Those are just curated schedules that give you a lot more information, but they give you a clickable schedule so you can have more of a routine, depending on how often you can work out, what equipment you have, what your goals are. So check those out as well as my nutrition guide. If you need to start out here, start out here, bring it in. My nutrition guide, which is not a diet plan. It is just a, um, flexible, structured schedule. It gives you flexibility, but also some structure of how to learn to build a balanced plate. Nothing is off limits, no restrictions, no counting calories, or anything like that. Just fueling your body with healthy food. Oh, so go ahead, one last one, press those fingertips down, let your head drop to the side. Breathe, so getting through the neck, through the wrist 
do that forearm and same thing other side thank you so much for showing up today you showed up you are successful thank you for being here with me roll those shoulders back one big deep breath in and out you did it that was your dumbbell total body sculpt workout great job everybody